Good afternoon. What I'd like to do today is demonstrate a few of the safety features available with the Cirrus Perspective Avionics. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, what is called uh, ESP or Electronic Stability Protection with the Cirrus, uh, which is envelope protection, protecting you from doing things that uh, you probably shouldn't be doing. And the first one I'd like to demonstrate is um, ESP with respect to the autopilot. What we're going to do is I've reduced power, um, and you can see in the upper left hand corner of the screen the power being reduced, uh, and I'm going to reduce that to zero. And you can see the airspeed starting to fall off pretty rapidly. Um, the autopilot is on, I'm level at 5,500 feet, and the autopilot is raising the nose of the airplane to maintain 5,500 feet. In most aircraft, the autopilot would stall the airplane. But in the, steer in the Cirrus, you can see that I'm getting a warning for minimum speed, upper left-hand corner of the um, PFD. I'm also getting a red warning down in the lower right-hand corner of the PFD as I'm pointing to right there. The perspective system is also yelling at me, airspeed, airspeed, airspeed. And you can see that the autopilot has now forced me into a descent of 900 feet per minute, trying to maintain 80 knots so that I do not stall the aircraft. So the, uh, the autopilot will not allow me to stall the aircraft. The next thing I'd like to, do, to uh, demonstrate to you is the use of the level button. You can see I'm pointing to it in the lower right hand corner of the screen. It is a button on the autopilot that allows uh, you to press it one time and the autopilot takes control of the aircraft and get you out of any unusual attitude or situation that you might be in. Um, so the very first one I would like to demonstrate would be a climbing turn to the left. I'll put it in, put the airplane into a, a rather steep climbing turn to the left. You'll see the airspeed begin to decay rather rapidly. Um, the uh, attitude is at quite an angle um, heading uh, in, in, a, in a vertical direction. I'll press the autopilot uh, level button. The autopilot takes control and uh, levels the aircraft, uh, puts it in a straight and level position so that the aircraft can begin to gain airspeed again and maintain the altitude at which uh, press the, the level button. What I'd like to show you next is, uh, as I've disconnected the autopilot now, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make it a descending turn uh, to the right. Again, a rather steep turn approaching 45 degrees of bank um, and a uh, fairly steep dive. Um, as if you had entered into a um, a graveyard spiral or something like that and uh, you notice that you're out of control you don't know what's going on you press the level button autopilot takes over and uh, there you are the, the aircraft coming back to straight and level So the next thing I'd like to show you is envelope protection when the autopilot is not on, um, and the autopilot and, and envelope protection, excuse me, protecting you from going beyond 45 degrees of bank. Uh, you'll notice um, on the attitude indicator at the 45 degree mark, uh, 45 degrees mark, uh, a double bar on both uh, the left and the right side of the autopilot. I'm pointing to it right here, excuse me, on the, on, of the attitude indicator, I'm pointing to it right there. Um, if I try to turn the aircraft into a bank of greater than 45 degrees, um, ESP will kick in 
envelope protection will kick in and force the aircraft back to 30 degrees of bank. It'll, it'll cause me to, uh, well, you'll see it here. As I approach 45 degrees of bank, envelope protection will kick in, boom, and it'll throw the aircraft back to 30 degrees of bank. Now, I can force it past that, but it's very, very hard to push past 45 degrees of bank. There it is again, pushing back to 30 degrees. Now, you can, of course, um, override envelope protection so that you can practice steep turns. I don't want you to think that the Cirrus doesn't allow you to do that. Here I am rolling into a steep turn to the left, and I've overridden the envelope protection by pressing on the autopilot disconnect button at the same time I'm turning. So you can see I am now in about, oh, about a 50 degree bank here, leveled at 5,500 feet, or maintaining my altitude, I guess I should say, of 5,500 feet uh, throughout the steep turn. So it's a very simple thing to do to override envelope protection. Um, and you can also go into the MFD aux um, area to override it more permanently. But the easy way to do it is just to hold down the autopilot disconnect button. And there you have it, envelope protection.